Hey what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Ace Beam E70 Mini. Here's a closer look at the light. As you can see it has a skeletonized pocket clip. It has a very large tail switch. It is able to tail stand. It's got crenellations there. It has three emitters and you will see this has a very relatively warm color temperature which a lot of people really like. It comes with some spare o-rings, a lanyard, a recharging cable, and it comes with a battery. Let's take a look at that. It is an 18650 lithium-ion battery. Right, so that's the battery that it comes with. The battery itself is rechargeable. In order to recharge the battery, just hook it up to any USB power source with the recharging cable. That is a power bank. When it is recharging, there's a little indicator light, it will glow red. When it is fully charged, it will be green. Here are the stats on the light. The maximum lumens, 2000. It has six different brightness levels. You can see the run times for all the brightness levels there. And the one special mode is strobe. And you can see the maximum beam distance, 153 meters. To turn the light on, double tap the tail switch. To turn it off, single press. Once it is on, you can cycle through the four middle brightness levels by pressing and holding. All right, so let's do that. One, two, three, four. To get to turbo, another double tap. Right, to get to strobe, triple tap. Warning, it's going to flash. Wow. Now from off, if you long press, you will get to an ultra low mode. So let's do that. That's, that's an ultra low mode. Now, to lock this out, you long press for about five seconds. It will go to ultra low first, and then it will blink. Come on, there you go. So now this is locked out. To unlock it, you long press again for about five seconds until it blinks. There you go. So now this is uh, unlocked. Now notice that, that uh, warm color temperature, right? You'll see this better when we go outside, but you can even kind of tell on the, on the table. At this time I'm going to roll in the testing and demonstration footage from outside and then we'll come back for final thoughts on this Ace Beam. Okay YouTube, we're out on the testing board with this Ace Beam light. Let's cycle through the brightness levels. And double tap for turbo. Wow. Warning, we're going to strobe. And the ultra low mode. Ultra low mode. Let's do turbo again. Wow. Yeah, that is very bright. And that's a nice warm color temperature too. It, it looks good, I, I must say. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm out here on the road with this Ace Beam light. Let's crank it up, see what we can see. Did you hear that frog? Wow. Now let's shine it down the road, see how far it goes. That's nice. Look at it. Look at it light up the whole road. What can we see over here? Some vegetation. This is the road with no street lights, no residences, nothing. So this is what you would see if you're walking down a nice country road at night with this ace beam. Okay, here is a top view beam shot for you of this ace beam. All right, that's the top view. Let's get behind it. Nice. Lighting up that road there. Here is the ace beam light overlooking Frog Creek. It is lighting it up very nicely. Yeah, you see the water, the waters of Frog Creek. May Frog Creek never, never run dry. All right, opposite bank. Up to the treetops, nice. Down the creek. Yeah, this is lighting up 
lighting up a lot. Definitely performing very well. I really like this light. And man, it's, uh, it's 68 degrees. It was very warm during the day, but now it's just super nice. This is actually very relaxing. Okay, YouTube, let me try to show you the difference in color temperature. The light on the right is a cool white. You see that? You see how white that light is? And the light on the left is the ace beam. You see how that's a warmer color? You know, again, there, there's some distortion from a camcorder, but you might be able to tell. Look how white that is. All right, that's the, uh, the non-ace beam light. Cool white. And that is the ace beam. You see how that's warmer. You see them both together. Yeah, so that's the difference in color temperature. Okay, I am standing in the center of the field. Let's check out what we can see here, turbo. So there is the goal. So this is going to be about 50 meters. All right, so there's one goal. And let's check out the other goal. So there you go. And there's a little goal behind it, but that first goal, so that's going to be about 50 meters. Final thoughts on this ace beam. It's an excellent light in the kind of mid-sized everyday carry category. The best part of this would be that warmer color temperature. A lot of people really like that. They just find it more pleasing to the eye. It's closer to natural lighting. And many people say that the warmer color temperature just gives you a clearer picture. You can just see more detail in whatever you're illuminating. As for the power and performance, 2000 lumens is bright for a fairly compact single battery flashlight. And you saw it out on the field. It definitely uh, could easily cross about 50 meters. It has the Type-C rapid recharging, comes with that high performance rechargeable battery, so that's all good. Now in turbo mode, this does get very hot, so if you were to leave this in turbo mode for a long period of time, well, it would eventually step down, but before that, it would get very hot, very hot to the touch. So overall, this is an excellent flashlight, especially if you're looking for something in that particular color temperature range. Ace Beam themselves, they have a very strong reputation, I've reviewed every major brand of flashlight. And I gotta say, over the years, Ace Beam, they are consistently always within my top five or six of the major brands in terms of quality. All right, excluding like the expensive semi-customs, because that's a whole different category. But just in the major flashlight brands, they're always in my top, top five, top six brands that I would recommend. Hope you enjoyed this video. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Flashlights. I'm out.